Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Captain Studios for another DMC Devil May Cry reboot clean playthrough. Brought to you in part once again by Peer Pressure. You know who you are, you freaking bully. Anyways, uh, we are going to pick up where we left off last time. Uh, I think we finished mission three, so let's get into it. And I am just going to play the game, so I'm not going to screw with any of the uh, the hidden stuff right now, just because that takes freaking forever. Oh, I'm probably going to be rusty as crap. I haven't played this game in a year, so. Nothing else. I'm just trying to make videos and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. I do like there have the always been angels. Sense. There have always been Settings. demons. And they've always been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest. Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant. His blood brother. Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Mundus believed that only one child was born, but there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons, the Rebellion for Dante, the Yamato for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons? Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the Demon King. Good. How? Spotter. Oh, fucking Demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. No. The only... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I have to say this. The only thing I don't like about this game how much they jacked with the freaking storyline because in the original Devil May Cry it's, it's a human and a de devil and stuff like that da -da, blah 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 but I like the gritty feel of the game of this game I really enjoyed this game <laughs> Okay, give me a second. 
Rescue. Find another way. Oh, geez. I mean, clearly I'm not still doing tutorial crap. Another blue rose. Oh yeah, this is where I get my boot. My jump boot. I wonder why I couldn't access it. You don't remember me. Hopefully I can get this game finished and stuff and get stop getting bullied in the finishing this playthrough series. Everybody's okay.
getting the hang of this. Oh, wow. Trapped Dante in his own memories. Uh, Sparta in Dante's memories. No, my name. my way. Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, Virility. The demons have spiked it. <laughs> it's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's the bottom of can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate, a conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him, I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. 
Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virillin. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? That was a crappy level. Yeah. What happens when you're out of practice? That's going to be it for this chapter and stuff. I'll be back with another one soon. Hopefully it won't be another year. Hope everybody has a good day. And don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. I go live with my live stream, my video game live streams almost every day and stuff at 10 p.m. Central Time. So I hope to see you then. Take it easy.